Imagine this, a major United States aviation company, GE Capital Aviation Services, just placed an order for 20 Chinese-made C919 passenger jets worth a staggering $2.2 billion. Pause for a second. Think about that. A company from the United States, home to aviation giants like Boeing, is buying brand new planes from a Chinese manufacturer, a company that, until recently, was considered a rookie in the global aviation industry. To put it in perspective, it's like Apple suddenly deciding to source its flagship iPhones from a brand new smartphone startup halfway across the world. It's unexpected. It raises eyebrows. It makes people wonder, why take a risk on a newcomer when proven giants have been dominating the skies for decades? This order isn't just a business transaction, it's a statement. It signals that China's C919 is no longer just a local experiment. It's stepping onto the global stage, challenging the status quo. Aviation analysts, journalists, and industry insiders were stunned, sparking debates across the globe. What convinced a United States company to trust a new Chinese plane with billions of dollars at stake? By the end of this video, we'll uncover the reasons behind this surprising decision, from cost advantages and production efficiency to geopolitical and strategic factors. And we'll explore whether the C919 could actually reshape the global aviation market as we know it. So now we have the headline, a United States aviation giant is buying Chinese-made planes. But the real question we need to ask is, why? This isn't just a routine order. GE Capital Aviation Services didn't just pick the C919 randomly, they made a strategic choice. And understanding that choice reveals much more than business preferences. It gives us a glimpse into how global aviation is evolving. Think about it this way. The aviation industry has long been dominated by a handful of players. Boeing and Airbus. Their planes are trusted, tested, and have decades of flight history. So, for a major United States company to suddenly invest billions in a newcomer from China is like betting on an unproven athlete in the middle of a championship. There's a lot riding on this decision. In this video, we're going to explore the hidden factors behind GE's order. We'll look at financial logic, cost effectiveness, production capacity, safety concerns, and even the geopolitical dynamics that influence aircraft decisions. By the end, you'll understand not just why this order happened, but what it could mean for the future of aviation worldwide. To understand why GE's move is so surprising, we need to step back and look at the bigger picture of the aviation industry. For over 100 years, two companies, Boeing in the United States and Airbus in Europe, have dominated the global civil aircraft market. They've built a reputation for reliability, innovation, and scale that made them the default choice for airlines everywhere. Developing a large passenger aircraft is no small feat. It's not like building cars or smartphones. A single plane involves millions of parts, advanced aerodynamics, and rigorous safety standards. Historically, even the most industrially advanced nations struggled to produce large commercial jets without relying on decades of experience and massive infrastructure. This makes China's entry with the C919 a classic David versus Goliath story. On one side, you have Boeing and Airbus, with decades of experience, global supply chains, and millions of flight hours under their belt. On the other, China, a newcomer, attempting to design, manufacture, and certify its own large passenger aircraft from scratch. The challenge was enormous, and the odds seemed stacked against China. Many international experts openly doubted whether the C919 could ever compete with the giants in terms of safety, efficiency, and performance. Yet, here we are, with a United States company betting billions on this rookie plane. Now let's talk about the C919 itself, China's bold leap into the world of large passenger aircraft. The C919 isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of China's technological ambition and determination to compete on a global stage that has long been dominated by Western companies. 
When the project began, there was a lot of skepticism. Experts questioned whether China could design and manufacture a large civilian aircraft entirely on its own. Many doubted it could match the performance, safety, and reliability of Boeing or Airbus jets. To make matters more challenging, the C919 lacked an internationally recognized airworthiness certification, which is critical for selling planes to foreign airlines. Despite the doubts, China pushed forward, investing billions into research, development, and international collaboration. The C919 became more than just a plane, it was a national statement, a claim that China could not only build high-tech products, but also compete on the most complex manufacturing stage in the world. This sets the stage for the next part of the story the milestone achievements that turned skepticism into serious attention from the global aviation market. The turning point for the C919 came in May 2017 when it completed its first successful test flight. This wasn't just a routine test, it was a historic milestone that proved China could produce a large passenger jet capable of safe long-distance flight. But, you know, a test flight alone isn't enough to convince international buyers. What really changed perceptions was when the C919 obtained international airworthiness certification, meeting global safety and performance standards. This certification meant that the aircraft was now officially recognized as safe and reliable, opening the door to international sales. Think about it like a student finally passing a world-renowned exam after years of preparation. Suddenly, the world takes notice. Airlines and leasing companies that had previously been skeptical began to seriously consider the C919 for their fleets. This achievement marked a shift in the narrative. China was no longer just experimenting, it was now a credible player in the global aviation market. And that credibility is exactly what made companies like GE Capital Aviation Services start paying attention. With the C919 proving itself in the skies, international interest began to grow. Airlines from around the world started placing orders, signaling that the plane was more than just a domestic success. So far, 36 airlines from countries like Brunei, Thailand, and Germany have committed to buying the C919, showing that China's aircraft could compete beyond its borders. But the most eye-catching and surprising order came from the United States. GE Capital Aviation Services, a global leader in aircraft leasing and financing, placed an order for 20 C919 jets worth $2.2 billion. This was the first confirmed U.S. purchase of Chinese passenger aircraft, making headlines across the aviation world. To put this into perspective, it's like a top-tier NBA team suddenly drafting a rookie player from overseas, bypassing all the homegrown stars they know and trust. The world took notice because this wasn't just a transaction. It was a historic moment, showing that Chinese-made planes could earn trust from the most established players in aviation. This leads us to the next crucial factor behind GE's decision, cost-effectiveness, and strategic financial benefits. One of the most compelling reasons GE chose the C919 comes down to cost. The C919 is priced at around $99 million per aircraft, which is roughly 20% cheaper than its closest competitors. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 at $121.6 million and the Airbus A320 A Neo at $110.6 million. But it's not just the sticker price that matters. Aircraft are expensive to operate over time. Fuel, maintenance, and repairs can add tens of millions to the lifetime cost of a plane. The C919 offers comparable performance to Boeing and Airbus jets, meaning companies can save significantly on both acquisition and operating costs without sacrificing quality or safety. In industries like aircraft leasing, where companies like GE manage fleets worth billions, even a small percentage reduction in costs can translate to huge financial advantages. By adding C919s to their portfolio, GE can reduce upfront expenses, improve profitability, and create more flexible options for clients.
Think of it like buying a high-end electric car that's cheaper than a Tesla but performs just as well. It's a smart, strategic choice that balances quality and efficiency. This financial advantage, however, is only part of the story. To understand GE's full reasoning, we need to look at the challenges Boeing currently faces in the market. While the C919 offers cost advantages, GE's decision was also influenced by problems facing Boeing, the longtime industry leader. Over the past few years, Boeing has struggled with public confidence issues, especially after multiple accidents involving the 737 MAX. These incidents led to global bans and flight restrictions, shaking trust in the safety of its aircraft. For airlines and leasing companies, reliability and reputation are everything. If passengers or regulators lose confidence, it can directly affect profits and operations. Boeing's challenges created a window of opportunity for competitors like the C919 to step in and prove themselves. Meanwhile, the C919 has gradually built a track record of safety and successful test flights, showing that Chinese-made aircraft can meet international standards. This growing reputation makes it a credible alternative, especially for companies looking to diversify their fleet and reduce dependence on Boeing during turbulent times. In other words, GE wasn't just saving money, they were also mitigating risk by choosing a plane with a rising safety reputation while Boeing faced ongoing scrutiny. Another key factor behind GE's decision is production capacity and supply constraints. Even though Boeing and Airbus dominate the market, their production cycles are long, and ramping up deliveries to meet a sudden surge in demand isn't easy. Building a single large passenger jet can take months or even years, and there are limits to how many planes can be delivered each quarter. At the same time, the global aviation market has been growing rapidly, with more airlines needing aircraft to expand routes and meet increasing passenger demand. For a leasing company like GE, this creates a problem. Demand is outpacing supply, and waiting for Boeing or Airbus jets could slow down business growth. This is where the C919 becomes a strategic solution. China's manufacturer can help fill the gap in production, allowing GE to quickly meet rising demand without being bottlenecked by the traditional giants. It's like a bakery suddenly opening a second production line to meet holiday rush orders. Fast, efficient, and timely. By diversifying suppliers, GE ensures that it can keep up with the pace of a booming aviation market while also maintaining flexibility and reducing dependency on a single manufacturer. The story of the C919 isn't just about competition, it's also about collaboration. From the beginning, China's aircraft project adopted a Sino-Foreign Cooperation model, working closely with international suppliers to achieve breakthroughs in technology and manufacturing. One of the most important partners? General Electric itself, supplying turbine engines and other critical components for the C919. This partnership creates a mutual benefit. On one hand, China gains access to world-class technology and expertise, helping it accelerate development of a globally competitive aircraft. On the other hand, American companies like GE profit from supplying engines and components while also being part of a major new market. It's a win-win scenario, GE benefits financially, and China gains credibility and capability in aviation manufacturing. So when GE orders C919 jets, it's not just buying planes, it's investing in an ecosystem that it has already helped build. This adds a strategic dimension beyond price. The order reflects both confidence in the aircraft and recognition of the business opportunities created by global collaboration. GE's order of C919 aircraft is more than a business decision. It signals a shift in global aviation dynamics. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have held a near monopoly in large passenger aircraft, controlling pricing, innovation, and market access. The C919's entry challenges that status quo, introducing a new competitor capable of gradually eroding their dominance. This isn't just about economics, it has geopolitical implications. As China strengthens its position in aviation, Western airlines and manufacturers may need to adapt strategies to remain competitive. Partnerships, 
supply chains, and even regulatory frameworks could evolve as a result. In essence, the C919 is reshaping not just the market, but the balance of influence in the global aviation industry. GE's decision reflects recognition of this new reality. By including C919 jets in its fleet, GE is hedging against market concentration and taking advantage of emerging opportunities in a rapidly changing landscape. This raises an important question. How will Boeing, Airbus, and other Western players respond to this growing challenge? Looking ahead, the C919's impact on the global aviation market could be significant, even if its current market share is still small. Over time, as more planes are delivered and airlines gain confidence in their performance, the C919 has the potential to gradually chip away at the dominance of Boeing and Airbus. Imagine a landscape where airlines can choose between three strong competitors instead of two. Increased competition could drive down prices, improve innovation, and expand options for carriers worldwide. For leasing companies like GE, this creates opportunities to offer more flexible, cost-effective solutions to clients while diversifying risk. Furthermore, as production ramps up and China strengthens its supply chain, the C919 could become a mainstream choice for airlines in Asia, Europe, and even North America. This slow but steady growth may eventually rewrite the competitive map of the aviation industry, forcing long-standing giants to adapt or risk losing market share. The C919 isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of change, representing the rise of new players in a market that has long been dominated by a few. To wrap it all up, the GE order of 20 C919 jets is more than just a purchase. It's a turning point for China's aviation industry and a signal to the world that the balance of power in global aviation is beginning to shift. From skepticism and early challenges to successful test flights and international recognition, the C919 has proven that new competitors can rise even in the most difficult and high-stakes markets. For GE, this decision reflects strategic thinking balancing cost, reliability, production capacity, and collaboration opportunities. For the aviation industry as a whole, it hints at a future where competition intensifies, prices stabilize, and innovation accelerates. The C919 isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of a changing industry and the new possibilities it brings. If you found this story fascinating and want to keep up with the latest developments in global aviation, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss updates on how the C919 and other emerging aircraft are reshaping the skies.